Hey, hey, welcome to Digging Into the Bible. My name is Jim Barnard. This is a production of Tiller Coaching. All right, this is it. This is day 39, the last day of our season in the book of Romans. I am so glad you joined me this season. Uh, I don't know where where I'm going to go next. I've got some thoughts, but I'm going to keep that secret and... Um, I still just need to decide, basically. Um, But yeah, so hopefully I'll get to start that up fairly soon, and then, uh, you know, we'll we'll, we'll just keep trucking along. Um, Okay, so today's section starts with verse 25, which is like, okay, that's great. Like, why aren't we doing the normal cadence? Well, um, it's weird because the, the yesterday's section ended at verse 23. Like, hold on, wait. What happened to 24? Where's 24? Well, it's a kind of an interesting thing, and I don't want to take super long on this, but um, there's like this like dispute about verse 24. Um, basically, verse 24 says this, uh, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you. Okay, there's nothing really like to object about there. There's, there's nothing like questionable about that statement. It's just that Paul had already said that in verse 20. That is the second half of verse 20. And so there's this dispute about, does it belong in verse 20? Does it belong at the end of the section that we did yesterday? Um, You know, verse 24. And the earliest manuscripts didn't have it as the the ending of that section. It's where it is where we read it yesterday. Um, You know, other, like later manuscripts started to put it, um, you know, kind of, you know, like not kind of, they put it in this uh, verse 24 section. And so, uh, you know, people have really tried to get the scriptures to be as accurate as possible. And there's a whole like art and science to it, um, something called uh, textual criticism. And man, there are smart people out there that have worked really hard and have torn it all apart. Uh, in fact, one of my professors at Denver Seminary, uh, Craig Blomberg, he's like one of these guys that's just uber intelligent and, um, you know, has worked on the NIV version of, of the scriptures and has, you know, torn things apart. And he has always claimed this, that 97 to 99 percent of the scriptures of the New Testament um, are um, indisputable, that there's um, there's there's no... Um, conflict or, you know, deconstruction that can happen. These, these are all accurate, um, you know, uh, accurate to the original, what what was intended for the scriptures. Now the other one to 3%, you know, none of that is stuff that we have based any of our Christian doctrine on. Um, Anything that like is, is formational for our faith. So it's a really interesting thing that, you know, people have have dug into this and can say with certainty, like, yes, what we have here is like what it was supposed to be intended to, you know, very minor stuff. And, you know, over 2000 plus years, I mean, like, think about that, like to keep things accurate with so many different translations and all these different scribes and all these different people with their hands on it. It's just crazy to me. So that leaves me very little time to finish this thing up and to read this. But um, I, there's not much I, I can say about this section. This is called a doxology. It is a, a, a word of praise um, for God that is usually like a conclusion to things. Um, you know, in fact, a lot of churches, one of the churches that I attended when I was a kid would always close with a, a song called the doxology. And it's not, it's not these words, but um, you know, there's a bunch of different doxologies um, throughout the scriptures. But I want to read this over you, over you and I, I, I ask that you would just put yourself in this seat, that, that you are, you know, the, the one, the, the subject of this, because I, I just think it's, it's really beautiful. And uh, with that, we'll be done. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and dig in for the last time to the book of Romans. This is chapter 16, starting at verse 25. Now to him who is able to strengthen you, according to my gospel and the preaching of Jesus Christ, according to the revelation of the mystery that was kept secret for long ages, but has now been disclosed and through the prophetic writings has been made known to all nations, according to the command of the eternal God, to bring about the obedience of faith, to the only wise God be glory forevermore, through Jesus Christ, amen. All right, that's five minutes. Let's go ahead and, and be done. 
Really appreciate you being on this journey with me. Thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. I will see you when we enter into season four, whatever that is and whenever it is. I'll see you then.